If your favorite song makes you cry, it is because it is literally changing your brain chemistry. Anthony here for D News, and our relationship with music might be deeper than you think. Research has shown that brain waves will resonate with the beat of music, and that makes your breathing and your heartbeat actually try to match the beat of the song. Now humans and songbirds are the only two kinds of animals on earth that this happens to, which means on some fundamental level, we are wired to respond to music. Now this works in a lot of weird ways. It's been shown that listening to pleasant music boosts your serotonin, which is the brain chemical responsible for good feelings and regular bowel movements. So double score. Processing music is one of the few regular daily activities that we participate in that involve both hemispheres of the brain. You know, everybody usually has a dominant hemisphere, you know, that whole left brain, right brain thinker theory, but people who study music tend to use both hemispheres of their brain more, making them better at lateral thinking and creative problem solving. Listening to music also engages your hippocampus. Now that's the bit of your brain that handles long-term memory storage. And that's why listening to old songs sometimes brings back memories that you've forgotten. Even somebody with Alzheimer's and dementia can have recovered memories through listening to music. Now, before you run off to tell everyone about the magical powers of your favorite Taylor Swift song, you should know that there are downsides to this connection too. For instance, have you ever made a dumb decision at a nightclub? Anyone? Maybe in terms of making new friends. You know, listening to sounds at volumes over 95 decibels can actually reduce your mental and physical reaction times by 20%. And club music usually plays at about 120 decibels. Louder music actually tends to increase alcohol sales in bars too. So really, it wasn't your fault. Everything was stacked against you. You know, what's crazy is this stuff is all happening at a physical level. It's affecting our actual brain chemistry and body functions, but we don't know why exactly. Music therapy is a field of study that's popped up recently to research and document these connections and a ton of others, including music as a painkiller and as a possible way to kick addiction. Some of it seems a little Spacey, flaky, maybe? But you can't deny that the connection is there. What's the biggest way that music's helped you in your life? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.